The twelfth emperor Keiko had many wives and children. One day he told o u s u one of his sons, I've heard that there are beautiful sisters in Mino province. I'd like to have them as my new wives. So go and bring them to me. o u s u went to Mino. When he met the beautiful sisters, he changed his mind and decided to marry himself. He brought other sisters to the emperor, and the emperor married them. But soon he noticed that they couldn't be the sisters he had wanted to marry. His son had betrayed him. He wanted to scold o u s u but o u s u had not come to the palace. Since he had brought the sisters to the emperor, the emperor called o u s u the younger brother of o u s u and said, o u s u you admonish your brother and make him come here. o u s u was a young and beautiful boy. He looked like a pretty girl but was remarkably strong. Five days later, the emperor said to him, Nobody had seen o u s u yet. Where is o u s u Have you told him? o u s u replied, Sure, I admonish my brother just like you asked me to. How? the emperor asked again. o u s u answered, I ambushed him and tore off his arms and legs, so he died. The emperor was astonished and shaken up. He feared his own son and didn't want to have o u s u around him. He decided to send his son away and said, o u s u I've heard the Kumaso Takeru brothers in the far western province do not follow our Yamato administration. Go and defeat them. o u s u was happy to hear that because he thought his father approved of him. He visited his aunt Yamato Hime, who gave him a farewell gift, and he set off to the west. o u s u went to Kyushu and found the Kumaso Takeru brothers. They had gathered their people and were having a party. o u s u wondered how he could defeat them and open the gift from Yamato Hime. It was a set of female garments. o u s u put them on. Then his appearance changed to that of a beautiful girl. When the Kumaso Takeru brothers saw him, they thought he was the most beautiful they had ever seen. They called the girl to sit down between them. Everyone enjoyed the party drinking a lot of alcohol. When the brothers got completely drunk, o u s u suddenly grabbed the collar of the elder Kumaso and stabbed his sword into his chest. <coughs> his screams echoed. The younger Kumaso tried to run away, but o u s u s sword speared him in the back. Before his final breath, The younger Kumaso asked him, Who are you? o u s u replied, I am o u s u a prince of Yamato. The emperor sent me to defeat you who resist us. The younger Kumaso grinned, I see. There is no stronger man than us here in Kyushu, but there you are in Yamato. I let you call yourself. Takeru, meaning brave man. From now on, you are Yamato Takeru. <laughs> o u s u gave him the finishing blow. From that time, he called himself Yamato Takeru. Yamato Takeru went back to the emperor. He believed that his father would be proud of him. But the emperor feared his son more than ever before. The emperor said, Many groups are resisting us on the far eastern side. Osu, 
Go east and conquer them. Immediately. Yamato Takeru felt sad and wondered why his father didn't allow him even a few months to rest in Yamato, his home. He wondered if his father just wanted him to go away. He dropped into Issa Shrine before departing. His aunt Yamato Hime was there to serve the deities. He told her, The emperor ordered me to defeat our enemy but didn't give me any troops. What does he expect me to do alone? I wondered if the emperor wants me to die in battle. Yamato Hime gave him a sword, saying, this is the sword that one of our ancestor god Susanoo took from inside the edge branches snake monster's tail. This will protect you. She gave him a pouch too. This is from me. It will help you when you are in trouble. Yamato Takeru received them and departed to the east. During his journey, he became an adult. He met a beautiful woman, Miyazu Hime, in Owari province, and got engaged to her. Then he continued towards east. Most of the groups which had been resisting agreed to follow the Yamato administration because of the rumor that Yamato Takeru had easily defeated Kumaso. When Yamato Takeru arrived at Sagami province, an official told him, All of us agree to follow Yamato administration, but our God disagrees. Please persuade him. He showed the way to their God, but after arriving at grass-covered plain where the God lived, the official set it on fire. He had lied and now tried to kill him. Yamato Takeru was in trouble, and he opened the pouch received from Yamato Hime. Inside was some flint rocks. He cut off the grass with the legendary sword and set a new fire with a flint to obstruct the fire coming towards him. The new fire burned the lying official. Since that time, the sword has been called Kusanagi no Tsurugi, which means glass mowing sword. After having pacified the eastern countries, he returned to Owari province and get married to Miyazuhime. One day, he gave Kusanagi no Tsurugi to Miyazuhime and said, I'm going to Mount Ibuki to defeat the god there. This time, I want to try my own power without this spiritual sword. Miyazuhime was worried, but he went out alone without the sword. At the foot of the mountain, he saw a huge wild boar and said to himself, that is probably a messenger of the mountain god. I will fight him after defeating the god. However, it was not a messenger, but the god himself. The god of Mount Ibuki became angry and sent a hailstorm. Yamato Takeru was hit by the hail and knocked unconscious. Yamato Takeru was injured and became ill. He had become very weak. It was hard to walk even with a cane, but he wanted to go back home again, so kept walking. Finally, he fell. He looked up at the western sky and said, I used to wish I could fly in the sky. Now, 
I can't move even a little. He passed away, and its soul took the form of a swan and flew back to Yamato. <laughs> <laughs>